I still love lavender, even now it's been going on, I guess, 14 years of growing it actively. Sage Creations is a diversified farm here in Palisade. We grow lots of lavender, herbs, flowers, uh, stone fruit. We have a market garden and we have greenhouses. Um, our specialty is flowers and lavender and uh, other aromatic herbs. We process everything here on the farm from harvesting to drying to distilling for the essential oils. We're seasonally opened uh, from basically April through September to the public. Of course, we work the farm 12 months a year. When people do come here, they can shop our retail store. We have our greenhouse area and there's a lot of plants for sale. We have the largest lavender selection probably in the state. We'll have a lavender festival. We have a farm festival on the farm at the end of June and we do all kinds of activities and classes and demonstrations. When the lavender's flowering, people could come and pick their own. We give them a basket and some scissors and instructions and we show them where to pick. It's a great photo opportunity. People love to take photos and bring their family and their kids or their significant others. We even had a few wedding proposals here in the lavender fields. But it's a special place. It's very pretty. People like, like to be here during Lavender Bloom. I am originally from Argentina and I came here to the United States when I was really young and grew up in California. My grandmother lived on a small farm and she had walnuts, orchards, and we always had this amazing vegetable garden. So I grew up with that, it was surrounded me and I've always, I think I had the love for, for plants and playing in the dirt as a kid. So when I first started in 2006, 2007, there weren't any lavender farms that I know of, that was the beginning. It definitely takes a lot of, you know, there's more risk involved when you're trying something new. And I was thinking, well, what would be an alternative crop to peaches and grapes? Um, and so I saw lavender growing in somebody's garden. And I thought, oh, that's really interesting. I bought like 40 plants of one species, one variety, to see how they would do. The following year, I planted 1,500 plants. Now we're up to almost six acres of lavender, and it's just been an evolution of trying different species, different cultivars to see what we can grow here in our region and in this, also in the state of Colorado. And you do just fall in love with the plant. It's a very addictive plant, not only in its beauty, but in all its different uses and forms and colors that it can come in. It feels great to have started a, a community within agriculture here in Colorado. Sometimes I'm so busy I, I forget to just stop and think about that. And I think for me it's exciting to see the evolution and really show the people that we can, we can create another new industry here within agricultural product.